All right, got a 31 foot Airstream here. She's just been polished up, she's beautiful. We have a little bit of an issue though. If you notice, uh, it's got a puncture wound of some sorts. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make a patch for it. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, I've got a sheet of 22 gauge scrap aluminum and I've got it marked out. I wanna do a nice little curved edge to match the curved edges of the Airstream. And I've got it marked out, so I'll use my shear and I'll slice it here and then I'll slice it here. And then I'll probably take off a little bit of the nubbins on each of the corners and then that way I can just sand them down. So here it is all polished up. I took it out and matched it up with the Airstream and it was still just a little bit dull. So I did have to do another round of polishing, but I won't bore you by showing you all that. Here I'm just using acetone to clean up the tape that was used around the hole. Now I've got it already. I have the holes drilled in the uh, little plate. So I'm just marking the first one and I'm using a Klecko fastener to hold it in place while I make sure that it is squared up to the body so that it doesn't look all cattywampus. And then I use a couple of pieces of tape in case it moves while I'm drilling. And then I'm drilling in across it, you know, back and forth, up and down, corner to corner, and then using the Klecko fasteners to hold it all in place. All right, I've got the patch installed uh, with the Klecko fasteners, as you can see right here. There's a tiny little gap on a couple of these areas here. And the reason for that is usually because little barbs, when you're drilling into it, these little pieces of uh, shaving get stuck around the edges here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off. I've got a little arrow marked so I remember which way is up. I'm gonna pull it off, set it down. I'm gonna use a step up bit and then I'm going to uh, take off if there's any little shavings around the edges to make it nice and smooth and then we'll put a bead of caulk around the hole and patch it up with rivets and be good to go. Isn't that right Ted? Yeah. Now if you're unfamiliar with these Klecko fasteners you can get a basic set with 50 fasteners and a tool for around 40 bucks I think and it is definitely worth having if you do a lot of riveting. Now when I use the step up bit there I'm not actually enlarging the holes I'm just taking off a little bit of the shavings. I'm just using a regular silicon based cock for the sealant and just put enough of a bead around it so that uh, as it clamps down it squishes it all the way around and makes a good seal from the weather.
And there you have it. So easy a four-year-old can do it. You see the rivets pinched it really nice and tight and it, it just matches the rest of the vehicle. There you go. All right, if you wanna make yourself a patch but you don't have the same equipment that I do, your best bet is going to be probably to pick up the metal at like a Lowe's or Home Depot or a local home improvement store. Sometimes they'll have smaller sheets of aluminum and that material is usually not scratched like my scrap metal is, so it'll save you a little bit of time on the sanding as well. If you don't have access to a shear or nibbler or something like that, you can always use aviation tin snips. Uh, these are my favorite set. These are uh, for right-handed people, but they do a relatively clean line on the left side. So I don't want to cut this up to damage it, but I'll show you on this piece here. Where you just cut a scrap piece of 22 gauge, and it cuts pretty cleanly. There are a little bit of teeth here that show up. Now to sand it, if you don't have an electric sander, you can use just sandpaper, put a block of wood on it to make it flat, and then you can go all the way around the edges and just start with a higher grit, maybe something like an 80 or 120 grit to get all the edges just right. Then when it comes time to actually install it, if you don't have the Klecko fasteners and you don't want to buy them for just one project, what I do is I drill the 1 8 inch holes. I'll do the first one through the patch and then I just use this. This is a number 8, uh, just a Phillips head a sheet metal screw. And on the number 8s, they're, they're just a hair bigger than an eighth of an inch. But if you use these to hold it in place and you get all the screws in, then when you remove it, clean out the little, you know, barbs of metal and then uh, go ahead, go to install the 1 8 inch rivets. It's not going to damage anything because the rivet will still seat even after these have been installed. So that's what I did before I had the Klecko fasteners and that's what you can do if you don't have them. Uh, other than that, you're still going to need the buffer. Your best bet is to just buy a cheap buffing wheel uh, that goes on a cheap grinder. You can get those at Harbor Freight uh, if you don't have one. But that's it. That's probably the cheapest way to get this done if you don't have the equipment.